Hello there, everyone. Right now in Cobalt, it's 4.16 p.m. on Saturday, November 6, 2021. Now for today's announcements. Today, a museum welcomes its newest addition, a cafe called The Roost. The owner, Brewster, may be a bird of few words, but his coffee is so good it can say it all for him. Blathers, our museum curator, has informed me that, like the museum, the cafe will be open 24 hours a day. I know I can't wait to duck in for a quick coffee break, and I bet a lot of you can't wait either. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for now, I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Last time, we funded another one of the businesses at Harv's Island, and also went over the early scenes for the Happy Home Paradise DLC, though we didn't actually start our new job yet. This time, we are going to visit the cafe. Uh, first of all, I do want to highlight um, a few things. Uh, we have a lot of things ordered from the Nook Mileage program, um, because I am in the process of trying to redecorate my town. But I did also want to highlight that using the Nook link, as I mentioned before, you can get several commemorative items for points from a daily login bonus. Um, so yeah, just as a, another reminder, if you have the NSO or Nintendo Switch online app, you can get special items, um, like toilet paper. Um, a very interesting reward, if I'm being honest. Also, one thing I discovered off-screen is that villagers can give you recipes, similar to the crafting um, or the DIY recipes. Uh, you can also just find them cooking now, and they'll teach you uh, the recipes. So I have a feeling this will help with one problem I have with this game. Uh, the amount of repeat recipes you get from characters. So now that there are a ton more in the game, I think that'll help a lot. Um, our next stop is Resident Services. One thing I do want to mention is, even though we won't be listening to KK's uh, music quite yet, uh, KK does have new music. There are 12 new songs uh, that you can request. Uh, so that's really cool, as someone who really likes KK's uh, music. First of all, I am going to withdraw a ton of bells. Um, I have no clue how many bells I'm going to need for everything we're doing today. Um, so, on uh, to err on the side of caution, I'm going to withdraw 300,000 bells. That might seem like a lot, um, but it'll make sense in a moment. Um, first of all, we want to talk to Isabel. Oh, Jonathan, it's great to see you. Oh yeah. As I said in the broadcast, we can now enact ordinances, special rules that change things about the island. The others and I decided that as our resident representative, you should be in charge of our ordinances. This means you can enact or dismiss any ordinance to try to make life here on Cobalt easier. Whenever you want to talk about ordinances, just let me know that you want to review island features. Now then, how can I help you today? Is there anything specific you'd like to talk about? You want to talk about ordinances for Cobalt? Sure. At the moment, we don't have any ordinances in effect on Cobalt. Enacting an ordinance means lots of paperwork. We'll need 20,000 bells as a collaboration and filing fee. Do you want to get started and enact an ordinance? Okay, which ordinance would you like to enact? There are four to choose from, the Beautiful Island Ordinance, which increases the chances of hybrid flowers appearing, and in the older games prevented flowers from wilting, but they actually don't wilt in this game, so it's actually less useful in this game. Early Bird makes the shops open an hour sooner. Uh, it's actually less helpful as well, because they used to open like three hours earlier, and the same goes for Night Owl, where everything opens 
um, it stays open an hour later instead of like three hours like in New Leaf. And then there's Bell Bloom, which changes sell prices and buy prices by I think 1.2 times. Um, so everything costs more, but you also make more from selling. So we'll go with the Night Owl Ordinance. This would boost nightlife by asking folks to stay up later. We'd also have island businesses extend their hours. Would you like to enact the Night Owl Ordinance? Alright, I'll get to work. The Night Owl Ordinance will go into effect tomorrow. Can I help you with anything else? Alright then, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Next up, we want to talk to Nook. Ah, Jonathan! Hello, hello! This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? Time to talk about your home, hmm? What shall we discuss? Ready to expand your home storage yet again? Yes, yes, of course! It should be said again, the greater the expansion, the greater co the complexity, the greater the cost. Like last time, you cannot take a loan to cover the fee, so you'll need to pay 700,000 bells in advance. You want to pay 700,000 bells now and begin your latest home storage expansion? Yes, yes, take your time and think it over. It's quite a large expense. Come back anytime! That was a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Uh, you can actually expand your home storage to 5,000 items instead of 2,400, which is what it currently is, in a series of increasingly large payments. I just didn't think the first payment was going to start at 700,000. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a lot of bells saved up, because this is going to be very expensive. Oh, you want to take part in a ceremony, Jonathan? Right now, we can hold a ceremony to celebrate the completion of the museum remodel. Interested? Splendid! Let's get started. Now then. I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new museum. Thank you. Our fine cobalt started with nothing more than a single tent, and just look at it now. That's thanks to everyone's hard work and dedication. I simply can't thank you all enough. I want to invite the museum's curator, Blathers, and the Roost's owner, Brewster, to say a few words. Yes, yes, gentlemen, if you would both be so kind. Residents of Cobalt. I most humbly thank each and every one of you for your ongoing support of our esteemed museum. Brewster and I are old friends, and it pleases me to my very pin feathers to have him open his cafe here. This new edition shows how our museum is more than an institution of learning and culture. It is also a place for rest, relaxation, and stirring conversation among the Cobalt community. I hope the Roost's coffee fuels many an animated discussion, and I look forward to seeing you all Seeing all of you there. Come by if you want some coffee, I'll clean a cup for you. Flathers, Brewster, thank you both! Next, I'd like to thank the one who tracked Brewster down, our resident representative, Jonathan. It's only right that we get a comment from Jonathan as well, hmm? Anything to add? Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Jonathan. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press, um, uh, that. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Cobalt's beautiful museum... Hooray! Thank you all! This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home.
I was not expecting it to drop us out here at the plaza. I thought we'd start at the, uh, the museum. Um, this actually works out because we need to head over to Harv's Island anyway. I've actually been giving it some thought, and in the future, I actually might start from Harv's Island. Um, I'm pretty sure we won't have any more Isabel broadcasts for a while, um, so I might just start from Harv's Island so we can skip at least one cycle of this conversation, um, instead of having to see this every time. I do like how the loading icon changes to the airplane instead of show showing like a, a tree um, like it normally would. Alright, so we have another startup here now, and it's Leaf. Hey there, let me introduce you to an old pal of mine. This is Leaf. Now he's got the greenest thumbs you'll ever see, and he's going to be opening up a sh uh, garden shop here. Ah, uh, Harv, we know each other. How are you, Jonathan? I'll be here with my usual selection of happy little plants and seeds on days when I'm not in, not on cobalt. Isn't that peachy? I think we'd all be as happy as Leaf's little plants if we lived a little greener, don't you think? I hope you find everything you need to make your island as vibrant and full of life as possible. So take your time, see what he's got to offer, and enjoy yourself. See you around! Like before, we will be going over all of the establishments at a later time. For now, we need to fund something new. I think I'm going to go with one of these two. Hello, good friend. We are accepting donations to fund an old timer who will give you access to your home storage, mate. Our goal is 100,000 bells. Currently, we have 730 bells in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need 99,270 bells. If you can spare even a single bell, great. We appreciate your support, friend. Alright, so someone else donated money, I guess. They have 99,270 bells as a donation, friend. We just reached our goal of 100,000 bells. Isn't that great? The new co-op will open soon. Alright, we reached our donation goal. So yeah, uh, another one funded. So that means we have one, two, three, four more to go. So it's still going to take a while. But yeah, I might start here uh, later on, just so we skip some of the Orville and Wilbur banter. Um, and then head back to town to show off other things afterwards. I was actually planning to end with that today, because I thought the ceremony would put us closer to the museum. Uh, this still works out though, um, still need to decorate a lot and go over some of the changes. Also, a ton of fossils are piled up over here just because the museum was closed yesterday. And right over here, we now have a sign for the roost. Open 24-7. I know the roost has been in a lot of Animal Crossing games, uh, but this is extremely nostalgic. Like I was talking about with Cap'n, it's kind of almost this feeling of like, the character of Brewster and the Roost have been gone so long that now that they're finally back, it feels kind of surreal in a way. Alright, so let's order a coffee. Thanks for passing that message on back on that remote island. If you ever find yourself in need of a cup of coffee, just swing on by. Coffee's 200 bells, care for a cup? 
Sure. Here you go. One cup of the house special. Drink up and enjoy. Wow! It's got depth and perfectly balanced acidity. I love it. Cool. Thank you very much. I wonder what this counter is for. Nothing yet, I guess. If you're here on your own, take a seat at the counter. Interesting. There's also an amiibo option, though. Hello, you have reached the amiibo call center. You can use an Animal Crossing character's amiibo to invite them to the roost. Would you like to invite someone now? Please ready the amiibo for the customer you want to contact. This is the amiibo for Label. Are you sure you'd like to contact this customer? Please wait while we process your request. Thank you for waiting. We've contacted Label. The customer you contacted is bringing company along. Please wait inside for their arrival. One really cool thing about the amiibo scanning at the roost is certain characters will come in a group. So by scanning the label amiibo card, or label technically, um, since the card was for um, New Leaf, um, all of the Able sisters are here. My sister insisted I come too. I hope that's alright. Hello, I tacked along. Thanks for inviting me. Since I was invited, I brought my sisters along too. If you're here on your own, take a seat at the counter. So I guess we can't order anything. Oh well. Um, I wonder what that is for. Um, but still, I really like this. I mean, the roost has always been kind of a simple concept. You show up, order coffee, and leave. New Leaf had a part-time job system. Who knows if that's in this game, since this just launched, and that required ordering a ton of coffee to get Brewster to warm up to you. Um, so anything like that is in the game, it will probably be a while until we find this out. But there's just something very nostalgic about this. As someone who played a lot of Wild World, um, it's really cool to have this back. Um, it's such a simple part of the game, but ever since the roost had been gone, it kind of showed how pivotal it was, even though it isn't that spectacular of a feature. And I really like the aesthetic design in general. The museum design has been phenomenal, like all of the different individual exhibits. And the roost has a great atmosphere. The one thing I wish was the case, but I get why because of the, the plaza already being dedicated to a performance. I kind of wish KK performed here as a callback to Wild World. We still have a ton to show off for the update though. Uh, and we'll be going over even more of the uh, new features tomorrow. Um, so we are going to wrap things up here for now. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons.